Hey, what's up guys? My name is Benny. Welcome to the channel. I'm here with another video. I got something exciting delivered to me today and I can't wait to share it with you guys. Can you guess what it is? I'll give you a hint. It's really small and it's right behind my hands. Ready? And if you're just like, what the heck is that? So this little thing is a light. It's an LED light. The brand is Culver and the model name is CL60. This little thing has been like trending on YouTube all everywhere. There was one video that I found on YouTube that convinced me to get this little LED light and it was by the channel of Marcus Picks, right? The guy's name is Marcus and he, if you guys want to check out his, I'll link it right here somewhere. He basically went through the whole thing, all effects and everything. I'll go through the rundown of it. I just barely got it. So I'll, pl I'll play around with it around this video, but please forgive me if I don't know everything about it. I'm barely learning this thing as it is. I did open it earlier just to give you guys a heads up. I tested it out and I'll even tell you like a few pros and cons that I liked about this little light. But yeah, you guys should check out his video. Definitely it goes through the whole rundown. He actually had a different model. It was the CL60M. I did see some differences. I think there's other uh, models. There's other letters to this CL60 family. There's even a CL100, but I just decided to get this thing on Amazon. I'll even link it on the descriptions if you guys want to also check it out. Yeah, this is so, so small. Hang on. To compare it, here's my phone, right? Look at that. This is like a toy. <laughs> it's crazy. So before I turn this on and I play around with it, um, I do want to show you the little package or carrying case it came with right put this on the side right here so this is what it came in this little carrying case culver you can see right there look at that De -de -de. right there okay this is what it came with right you got your little mesh packet right there all right you got your straps for the sides right so you want to you know carry it on your shoulder shoulder straps cool very convenient let's see this was actually a cover it came with it i did take off there was a seal as a blue little seal uh to cover the, the led please take that off <laughs> before you turn it on uh, I, I'm really glad that I read the manual because it tells you right there, like literally take off the seal before you turn it on. It's a protective seal for the LED light. So yeah, make sure you don't burn it off. <laughs> this cool thing is a bones mount. So yeah, you could use any accessory that has bones, right? You can attach modifiers. You could attach different reflectors. As a matter of fact, that's the other part. The reflector that comes with. Here's a reflector. Look at that. Do -do -do. It's a tiny little reflector mount too, or a reflector. Compare it to. I'm gonna take this off because it's too much. But hang on, there's one more thing. It also comes with this. I'll show you what it is, but hang on. For all this, let me take this off. All right, here is the Godox AD600 reflector, right? For comparison, here is the Colber CL60 reflector. That's a big difference. Cool. So I saw a couple people, especially Marcus, putting on the mount, but when you're trying it for yourself, it's a different, different experience. So forgive me if I mess this up. Let's figure this out. I'm sure the grooves 
as you can see right there and it has a little i don't know if you guys could see it it probably has a little ball i'm pushing it right now with my finger two little ball joints that you can push and i'm sure so i'm lining it up with the grooves you should hear like a little click i don't know if you guys can hear in the camera there you go i'm gonna put the reflector on oh yeah oh yeah that thing's on tight this is like the guy from Breaking Bad. Tight, tight, tight. <laughs> and you guys can put any accessory. Bowens. Right. So yeah, if you have any Bowens accessory. Oh. You have any Bowens accessory. You can use it with this little Bowens mask. That comes with it. Let's take this off. There you go. So yeah, it came with this little light stand bracket and let's put it on. It's going to be on the groove, obviously on the bottom. You can put it either way, but I like to put it on the right way with the knobs this way, but you can put it any way you want. Slide it. Let's see, tighten that. Oh, that's nice. Feels good. The only thing, um, that I don't like is the weight and I do agree with Marcus this thing is a little hefty he has a really ingenious way of making this more lightweight so you guys should definitely check it out I'll post the link somewhere again in this video again you have your tilt right tilt up to tilt down blah 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 does it have the little pulling thing just in case oh it does great job great job guys that's nice i like that because you don't want something you know you just get stuck and i've seen situations happen where you have something else and it gets stuck and then you can't retract it back when you pull out this joint yeah so that's that's really nice all right take this out now for the fun stuff you do need to power it on through usb-c you guys can see it right there somewhere as the USB-C input. I was trying it earlier with my own USB-C cable, but it made this like weird noise and I didn't, and I connected it to my portable battery. I just didn't want to like finick with it because if something goes wrong, you know, there goes your light. So yeah, let's power this on. Oh, one more thing. I forgot to show you. Oh my god, it's all jumbled up. The power adapter that it comes with. It comes with a little Velcro, so don't worry. I have it all messed up right now. So yeah, USB-C right there, right? And then you got your block. Let's power this baby on. Connect it through USB-C via USB. Just turn on. I don't know if you guys heard that. It's really quiet. Jesus Christ, <laughs> right? It is at 100%, 25%, 50%, 75%, and 100%. Zero. Uh, I didn't show you guys, but there's little dials right here. You can push on them and they'll go by like quarter adjustments but you could also do one three four you can go by increments of one percent each time you have to keep doing that to increase it's too bad you can't press and hold it and oh it does okay cool oh it only goes by tens okay so not too bad that's fine let's change the color temperature right now it's at 56k 5600 kelvins it goes by increments if you're going 50 right you guys 5800 right now push on it it just goes by 3200 40k 56k 65 27 it just goes by those increments 
Will it do the same if you press it? Yep, it does. Okay, so it goes from 2700k to 65. It unfortunately doesn't do RGB, so sorry guys. Uh, and I don't, I wouldn't recommend putting a gel on this because it'll, it'll burn it out for sure. I'm sure it will. Let's go through the effects. So effects is right there. It's got set, rate, effect, and color temperature. That little white button right there, glow up button. Is the power you press and hold it to turn it off and you press and hold it to turn it on let's go to the effects right now it just shows you illustrations of the effects and you can change by the rate of the levels it'll go through like it'll be faster you have a stronger effect you can also change you can change the dim levels Oh, you can even change the color temperature on the effects. That is pretty cool. That's wild. Okay, I like that. It's got an SOS. Haha. <laughs> so for the pros, I like it. I like the weight. I like the size. It's like everything about it. It's portable, right? You take it on the go, run and gun. Like I said, uh, I'm going to try and find a way to power this on with another USB cable. Maybe it'll work. Maybe I can just hook it up to my portable battery. I did see some other people have luck. Unfortunately, my cable didn't work. I don't think it's my portable battery, but we'll see. Another cool thing that I liked was that how strong this little light is. It's rated at 52,000 lumens. Uh, the lights that I have right now, they're rated at, with the reflector. This is, They're not using the reflector. They're rated at, one of them's rated at 60,000 lumens. The other one's rated with 72,000 lumens. And that's with the reflectors. I can't imagine with like modifiers. But they have softboxes right now. And uh, gaugely at the outputs that they have is like 10% to from 5% to 10% output right now but you saw this at 100 I'm excited to test this out in the field really really excited again I'm gonna definitely find a way to power this on via I know that there's so many attachments I saw that this bracket that you could put a, a D tap power this on with a, a small rig 99 uh, v-mount battery yeah the the grooves have so much so much opportunities to put attachments you could do so much I can already envision things that I will buy for this little light the cons the bad things about it I didn't like I, as you saw it I don't I don't like that sound. I like my things to be quiet, you know. Maybe when you're on the set, you won't hear it as much, but it sounds cheap. But, you know, for what you're paying, it isn't too bad. Right now on Amazon, it's 149 and you get a coupon for like 8 bucks off. The other thing that I wish they had integrated was a like a little small battery at least that you could charge just through USB-C via that would have been cool at least I mean like a 2600 milliamps whatever same size as your phone or something that would have been cool to integrate as a backup I can see that as a backup just in case you're like portable battery dies and like you have a reserve that would have been really cool aside from that i don't have any other cons about it at the moment but if i do maybe i'll upload an up update video maybe sometime from now but yeah this little light is awesome definitely can't wait to try it out i know i've said that many times um uh, I, I just look at this it's so small. <laughs> it's so cool. Um, 
I will definitely link it in the description. You guys can check it out yourselves. Decide if you guys want to buy it. But yeah, that's all for this video. If you guys want to check out more content, please subscribe, like, ring that notification bell, all that mumbo jumbo. And I can't wait to show you guys more of the stuff that I am very enthusiastic about and the topics that we're going to talk about later in the future with some awesome people. Yeah, very excited about that. That's it for me. And it, it's raining in California and we're going to have a blizzard. Look out. <laughs> All right, guys. Can't wait to see you on the next one. And again, aloha. Goodbye. Peace.